Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So today I'm doing something that I promised for a long time that I was gonna do, and um, I did it. I I'm doing a, a starter house. It's a for real starter house this time. I know. Wow. What? Yeah. It's for real. It is a starter home. Less than 25 simol well, 20,000 simoleons. But um, it's it's like 19, 000, 18, 19,000. So I mean, it's right there at the limit. But it's a starter home nonetheless. <laughs> and I'm proud of myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I actually think it turned out really cute. Um, so. I originally built this house and it wasn't a starter home it was a little bit bigger than this not much it was a small little beach modern looking beach house and it was two bedroom and it was so cute decked out beach theme and then I realized um, oh I, 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 no, I didn't oh, I was recording but I, I exited out without saving um, and I, did, and I would have to build it again, you know, in order to have, like, because I don't think I finished it all or something. I don't remember. It was, few, like, a week or so ago. But anyways, I was like, oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> but anyways, I was like, you know what? It was, it was a cute little house, so I'm going to do it again. But the original idea behind this house was to build it on the island of Windenburg because i just think of that kind of like it's like a, a kind of secluded area and for this sim i imagined that okay have you ever seen the movie safe haven okay safe haven is a nicholas sparks book slash movie and it's really good so if you haven't seen it i suggest it uh, it's a typical like romance movie of course but anyways um the woman was in an abusive relationship and she ran away from her husband um, trying to get away from him so she like cut her hair dyed her hair and I don't remember where she went but it was like a little beach town or something and um, she had this little cottage or a little cabin in the woods that was very cheap and needed fixing up and you know kind of start her life over again without the abuse of her husband he was a cop so you know it wasn't like she could go to the cops to get away from her husband so just in case y'all are wondering why she didn't just like tell somebody well he was like a cop and nobody would have believed her um but anyways uh point is i was kind of thinking a similar situation not necessarily that sh this woman or sim was abused but that she was trying to get away from something in her life or in her past and so she picked up and she wanted to come to like this little secluded area in windenburg in a small little starter house and start over so that was the inspiration behind the house originally um, so when I went back in to build it, I was like, you know what, the, I, the, I could easily make this a little bit smaller, watch how much it's worth, and make this like a legit starter house, because this is one of those sims where she doesn't have anything. She's literally starting from scratch, and I know I say all the time that starter houses, the way I play is a free real estate, and I'll give them whatever house I think meets their you know their career and everything and have them pretend you know that they have bills and I'll take their money away and all of that that's how I like to play just because I like to furnish houses um, but I just imagine that this like specific storyline in the sim that I was thinking about it would make a lot of sense so yeah I did it and I'm proud of myself so yeah I did it <laughs> I finally created a legit starter house now it's not base game um, <laughs> I still have yet to do a base game only build, so that is next on my to-do list, so, yeah. <laughs> um, also, this house, like, the floor plan, like I said, originally was two bedroom. It was two small bedrooms, but I just ended up making this a one bedroom, one bath. Um, the bathroom is kind of big, and I don't really like how big the bathroom is, but I was able to like squeeze the laundry room in there as well because y'all know me and I love laundry but anyways yeah it's very basic obviously starter house I was really watching how much it cost and you know trying to do the bare minimum and I saved the landscaping for last um so that's why I'm just now doing it <laughs> and I just put down some you know beachy looking rocks and some of those pretty purple flowers that came with I think um the outdoors what's that pack called the outdoors pack the camping pack 
get outdoors <laughs> I don't remember what it's called but um anyways I think that's where that plant came from and some like seaweed looking plant just kind of making it look a little bit beachy but as far as uh like trees and stuff I just I didn't do anything because I didn't have the money <laughs> um I just kind of blended in some of the sand around the house but Anyways, I think it's a really, really cute, modern looking beach house. It's perfect for, you know, a starter family or starter sims since it is only one bedroom. Um, I mean, you could possibly build onto this house if you wanted to, but I don't know. I'm just impressed with how easy it was to build a starter home because honestly, I have attempted a starter home before and it was just like just me building the house. I was like at 15,000 and I could not furnish it for 5000 I don't know why I do that. I, I guess I'm just like thinking way too bougie. Um, so I, I picked a very small floor plan and house and I think it turned out really nice. I was able to put some like minimal decorations around. You know, I was able to put rugs and curtains and a few plants here or there. So I'm impressed with that. I like that. And yeah, so I hope you guys are proud of me. I hope you guys like it. It will be available for a download on the gallery. So if you want to download it, go ahead and do that. Give me a follow on there. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Take it in